Hey, it's Boise. Um, sorry, just... Oh, echo. Just, uh, chowing down on some, um, crackers. And I'm uh, getting, getting myself sort of like ready to, to, to get started. So we are here again with uh, with these uh, with the with this with the Azaro Azariel. Not really sure how you say it. To be honest with you. Kind of because we're just doing this one at the moment. Ooh, didn't want to do that. So I'm just doing a little bit of a, a little bit of resizing. So we're just focused on the on the one. It was just it was just crackers. Uh these these little these little crackers. Um I was munching down on I'm gonna start gonna start getting myself a little bit more ready for this uh for this picture now. I am so disorganized, it's unreal. You'd think, seeing as I was doing this yesterday, uh everything would be in the same place and just like nice and neatly organized but it's not I don't know where my water bottle is I'm constantly looking for my palette even though it's on the same desk it'll just be buried underneath like a pad or something that I haven't even used uh, and I don't know how I do it but there you go uh, I do do it so so oh just uh, remembered I don't even have this uh, picture up So yeah, we're just going to finish off uh, this one today. This one's got a bit, a bit of a, a blue flavour in the um, in the in the in the background, uh, but mostly it's yeah, it's a bit more bluer uh, in tone than uh, some of the others. So I'm just gonna wash, make this a bit more washy. Is that a word? I'm gonna put this on top of something here, so we're not disturbing that that, that piece underneath it. Oh, and again, it doesn't really matter if we flick a little bit of paint on there because it helps sort of add to the. Uh, Add to the look of the painting feel. So we're just going to start adding um, some some uh, darker sort of greys to to this to this bit. And obviously, I'm going to pull to where I want the shade in to sit so like places like this and places like here 
where I want the, the shadows to really be accentuated. Obviously a lot of this again is going to be brought out more by um, Uh, acrylics to just highlight the uh, uh, the stuff. I'm, I'm still missing a few uh, sort of like lights and stuff like that, but I won't really worry about uh, bringing in lights until like another like a later point anyway. Um, I'm just gonna sort of bring in some shadow here as well. Just kind of destroyed uh, a lot of the uh, work uh, we did yesterday, but it's all right because I'll we'll come back in at some point and uh, and sort of uh, re re recreate those little bits of uh, texture and stuff like that. Sorry about that. Just needed to get a little bit uh, drier um, so we can continue uh, painting without any sort of trouble. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to want this to go a lot darker in places again. Um, so, but I kind of want it, yeah, I kind of want it to be like a bluer sort of black. A bluer dark rather than a a cool dark rather than a warm dark. So obviously that's just very very brown.
and this is the colour we're going. It doesn't. It actually looks like a bit. It look, just looks a bit grey, uh, really. Um, but that's what we're going with right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go back over these little areas where I wanted uh, these dark. These dark sort of. Well, shadows, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta lay it out, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was just, uh, I guess, a bit of dust in the air or something, I don't know. So we're just putting the, um... How are you, any spicy good? How has, uh, things been going? Hey Tumber, how's it going mate? You alright? Nice to see ya. I'm actually just finishing uh, one off. This is... I'm just finishing this one off from, uh, from yesterday's stream. Um, And I'm still, I'm just trying to keep it a little bit, a little bit loose, but still within the realms of like, you know, you can see, you can see, you'll definitely see what it is. You know, not, it's not abstract. So this is going to go right up to there, and then this is where we've got this, uh, the round. Yeah, not too bad, I think I might have uh, pulled a little cold from somewhere, um, and uh, yeah, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I kind of wanted to play Eve today. Uh, and I wanted to to do some um, sort of like solo or small gang roaming, but um, it's probably not the sort of like right time for it. Or uh, I I really wanted to finish this off as well because I know what I'm like as well. If I don't if I don't finish something off, it's probably just going to get just going to sit around for for a while. You know. I'm just blocking blocking some of these some of these colours in as well more than I am uh more than some some of the other stuff. Um because I kinda wanna I kinda wanna see where we are with some of the detail. Or well how how far this this some of this dark's gonna go, you know. Um I've got some shapes here that I kinda wanna preserve. Uh, so we're, we're trying this a little bit different to, to how we did the main piece yesterday.
there's a lot of white or there's a lot of highlight areas uh, here um, that will get bought out as long as this is like uh, kept quite quite dark as well um, it's the same here I've avoided using any of the, the, the yellows and stuff at the moment which is probably probably wrong of me uh, but I kind of want to you know, focus on some of the other some of the other things and I can see this is actually quite dark here um, which I hadn't for some reason hadn't pulled out before oh, I don't need to worry about that so, so sometimes I'm worrying about areas that I don't really need to worry about I don't need to worry about some of these areas because I am going to go back o I know I'm going to go back over it in acrylic I know that there's a white line here for example uh, uh, that comes around here but I'm trying not to worry about it too much uh, it's the same here and to be honest this 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 bit here so we'll just leave like an indication of where that line might be going and uh, I can't actually see it that well on the uh, Um, no, I I grabbed this. Uh, I didn't. I I was doing an unskinned version basically, but I probably like at some point might might do one with the skin. It depends on the skin. Some of the skins have way too many um, uh, effects and stuff, which kind of makes it difficult, like the conflicting light sources or transparency going on and stuff like that. Um, I can see that there's some little lines here. So again, I'm just going to leave some. Yeah, and, and you know, sometimes like you, I do quite like the the way that Angel's stuff looks as well. You know, in ge in general, just like that that camo uh, sort of look. And uh, we're gonna just do a little cut here. Um, and put some some dark around here. Really, I should probably be using a a smaller a smaller brush, but I'm not. I'm going to use this one. And again, I kind of need to darken this down. I kind of want to. Okay, that's not gonna let me do. It's not gonna. No, it's not gonna let me. It's got a mind of its own. It's just. Uh, it's just saying no. Watercolor saying no. Just trying to to find the detail again. Even though I don't really don't really need to, because I'm trying to. I'm still trying to keep it quite loose uh, and and quick, sort of like rapid. You know. Rapid sort of uh, brush strokes. Um, I probably didn't really want to get rid of that bit, but it's all right. Uh, it's a little bit there. See, it's a bit. It's a bit confusing because I've lost my sort of like detail lines and stuff, and I've just rushed straight into it. See there, Tambo. Uh no, I got I actually got this uh from somewhere yeah from uh a secret source. Um
one of the uh, creatives uh, uh, things. See you later, mate. I mean this one's got quite a lot of um quite a lot of light source light sources on it as well. I'm really struggling to sort of like see the details at the back here. Um So I'll just make them up. Um and these are very These are very dark. Probably not really use. These sorts of dark uh, looks I've got. One of the problems is the little the little details. I'm using a brush that's way too big really. Um which is probably gonna cause me some some issues. I'm also putting my hand in paint, which isn't very clever. Um But you know, uh, it is what it is. So we've got some of these lines go straight across here and obviously I just want to be sort of quite quite loose with these uh, there's actually a line coming across here as well I believe that I've left out there oh, no, like a little one there so there's another plate here uh, which means if there's another plate here that means that that line is there And uh, yeah, okay. Secret sauce, yeah. It's like uh, I have an informant. This does seem to have a little line through it with a little wobble. And and then it goes sort of like dark here. Can you see that? Sort of this bit just goes really, really dark. And then uh, uh there's another bit of light here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to try and separate these little armor plates now a little bit. So I think I can see the pencil marks underneath here. And uh, there's a little kick here. And then it goes straight down like, like this. And this one's got a little V out of it. Okay. We 
we do have some some sort of gray grayish areas around here as well um but i'm not adding them in just yet and i've probably done the wrong side first because i should have done that side first and i've just sort of like again i'm rushing but it's all right we'll you know we will continue to do this and just correct any errors or issues that I think I've got at a later at another point later on like here as we go Uh, this has got a bit of a curve on it. Oh, okay, yeah. So you can see that there's a there's a whole uh, a bunch of grey sort of like missing a little black bit there. And doesn't matter as long as it's got the the general sort of uh look no one's gonna really care about a few my missing missing dls on a watercolor so i kind of need a little bit of a yeah i kind of need a bit of a just slowly plod along with it and uh, all of these like troubled areas will eventually just get rid of themselves sort of hopefully There's going to be a lot of uh, fixing up here, I think. I can't... I'm, I'm really, really struggling to see this bit. I think it might actually be uh, a bit of grey there. But, um, like I said, you know, we can we can worry about tying some of this up later. And it's... Uh, the, the main focus area around it really is, is down here. Um... So for example, this section here has a whole, I mean it's, it's, it's pretty much a white line so I don't really want to do it with this colour.
we'll add a little bit of uh, a little bit of blue here. Still not the colour I want. Could be a bit of uh, trouble with the light here. Oh, and I've got a, quite a bright white sort of light now coming down on on here, and I kind of want this to be a lot a lot uh, more watery. In fact. I kind of want to yeah so there's not this neat I want this to be a bit bluer really and I can see that in, in that little bit of spray that I've put on there. Okay, so this hopefully this will be a bit a bit better. And we're just uh, I'm just gonna lift that little bit of spray that I put on there just a minute ago. But still, it's gonna add to the texture anyway. And uh, I'm just get a couple of bits of paper we'll go here and so I don't want to put any masking tape on because the masking tape will kind of like uh, can kind of like lift off the paint if it's wet as well, or well cause its own sort of like set of problems. But I can do that. And now I've got the the color, more or less I've got the color I wanted. So Just like toothbrush fun, bit bit fun with a toothbrush. All right, that'll do. Um, Maybe I'll try some little 
a little sort of PvP after I've, I've finished this. Uh, we, 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 we shall see. Um, so again, you, you see I've lost some sort of details here, but that's alright. I don't want to do too much there. Uh, let's just get the general sort of feel here with some with some rough rough lines of what's going on. So I know there's that that little bit of bracket there, if that's what you call it. This is quite a big, quite a big thing here. Um, I would say it's quite a big thing. There's going to be like a white sort of, almost a white line there anyway. Uh, that's going to sort of like uh, help us bring out some of these things. I just kind of want to. to some of these little areas here because this bit comes around here um, so I'm just giving it the, the sort of like a rough uh, a rough look at the moment this is a bit of a plated look yeah and then there's this bit and you can see there's a minor detail there that I'm sort of just completely avoiding uh, again I'm going to try and bring out some of this with some acrylic I think that's probably the best bet you know when you when you put some lighter color next to some of these things they uh tend to to show up a bit better i know there's a dark line here for example um and a little a little dark line there um a lot of little lines these are quite you know the supers do have quite a lot of detail in them and stuff and um sometimes it's very easy to get drawn into into that um put any detail here earlier because I kind of wanted to pull in the the shadow uh, a bit more with paint um, like here uh, this is actually going to be a, like a lot whiter than uh, than or sorry a lot brighter than it is here. So we've got we got a, a bit of a bit of uh, work to do around this area with with uh, with the um, lighter acrylic, the white acrylic, I should say. Um, and again, I'm gonna just gonna go over some of these uh, patches.
camo that I sort of like lost uh, earlier. I'm gonna go back over now because I think I've done what I want in regards to um, sort of like main main details anyway. And uh, now all I'm gonna do is probably get to get the acrylic out and. Uh, And do that. Um, so there's also going to be some little yeah. Oh, that's a bit browner. Yeah, that's a bit browner. So we're going to leave that, and then we're going to tie in some of these now. Uh, to sort of like help bring it back into uh, focus, I guess. I mean, this has gone a lot darker than I than I should have allowed it to go. Um, but that's alright. This this bit should have been a lot darker than it is. But it is what it is, and there's a little little grey line there as well. Um. about grey lines we kind of wanted to bring that that bit in so I'm just going to get rid of some of the water on this brush and uh, a bit. See there's like a little thing there and then there's some grey here as well that I've completely just not just not put in. And obviously every time you apply uh, paint it can get a bit um uh, frustrating because it will get rid of some it can get rid of some of the details that you've just put in or just 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 messed around with you know um, but right now uh, I'm not really worried about that it's a bit like this area here doing the uh, I should probably brighten that up a little bit but you know gonna just gonna go with with that really um, And then there's some bits over here that I, I'm going to say are this this colour, almost. Well, these are going to dry uh, a lot, a lot, a lot lighter anyway. So...
as well into the sort of into the brownish you know um, brownish is going to be like brownish orangey sort of uh, shade in there at some point um, same here but Again, a lot of that I'm going to just cover with acrylic. I've been quite lazy with this and, and, and saying to myself, I'll just do that with a bit of acrylic on top. Um, uh, but that's alright. I have a plan and I'm kind of being a bit of exper a bit experimental as well with this one rather than being too uh, too too specific you know I'm going to the old Da Vinci uh, brush because I want to do some sort of like really, really fine, finer details. Uh, so, like, there's a line that runs here. Uh, that turns into a little triangle. around here and it, there's there's a lot of little a lot of little lines so I just wanna sort of leave the impression of Abby. Nice of you to join. <laughs> just I'm painting a, uh, a a ship from from Eve Online just in case. This is just a really this is actually going to be a white line, but I'm just going to put it in there anyway. Uh, and a lot of these have like got double sort of lines, and I'm trying to trying my best to sort of like pick them out while trying to stay sort of um, you know oh, loose with it with loose with it a lot looser uh, than, than I have been uh, approaching this to be honest with you um, as I can see there's like a little there's like little details here. There's there's another little line here where this joins. So yeah, um Thanks Spicy. Do you you don't fly capitals, do you? You're like small gang type. Yeah. a lot of little a lot of little lines in these sort of areas where they uh, chase around and even around here but I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that with a little white I think and I'll keep it fairly simple for, m for myself in uh, in regards to that well, okay I'm not gonna do that apparently I'm gonna do it the hard way Yeah, 
I've, I'm sure I've roamed with you. I'm sure I've done something with you. Did you do the uh, uh, the fun ink rooms, right? Am I am I getting confused with somebody else again? I do this a lot, or am I just having a moment? I'm sure. Didn't I speak with you at FanFest and stuff, yeah? Or is that somebody else? Or are you? I know. I know a couple of spices. I'm I'm com I'm confusing myself now. I'm starting to confuse myself. I'm like, oh, hang on a minute. It could be. It could be this guy, or it could be that guy, or it could be this person, or. Either way, you're still spicy. No, I know, I've, I've done something, I've done, I've roamed with you, I know I've done something with you. I'm pretty sure it was a, a fun ink. Fun ink stuff. could just be like imagining things again because uh, uh, my brain does have a nice a wonderful habit of doing that uh, my favorite is when I lose things and they're right in front of me uh, which I still don't understand how on earth I do that but uh, yeah I'll, I will literally lose this painting and not be able to find it and it'll be sat here just as it is right now and I've been working on it and I'm so it makes me feel like I'm absolutely insane sometimes um so what I'm doing is I'm just adding some some little and some little uh lines some of these don't actually exist on the whole uh but I'm adding them anyway uh just to sort of like break it up a little bit I mean this is a sort of I don't know if you can see that actually You can see a lot more detail with 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 this uh, with this camera than um, some of the other ones. I, the, the other one that I was using, you know, uh, to the point of well, oh, kind of want that to be water, where it very very wa a lot more watery than it is right there because uh, this is actually I've missed out the uh, the dip here the important dip oh yeah that was it I haven't actually been on uh, uh, one of Shad's rooms for a while yeah, I keep seeing his posts pop up but uh I really do want to, you know, roam a little bit more and stuff and, and play Eve and that, but between work and everything else, and I'm constantly telling myself, you know, I, I, I should be painting, I, I should be painting, you know, um, it's just, it's just a bit of a nightmare, isn't it, you know, trying to, trying to find time and stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know what it is about some people who own shops, but my God, you'd think it, you know if they want to sell something, they'd just be you know just be helpful. Um, but I've had that a few times recently as well. Like I mean, I went to the, the post office the other day, or well, not the post office, the couriers in Spain, and uh, they just don't really want to help you. They look at you like you're you're you know like you're trash on their uh, on their shoe and they've got better things to do with their time and stuff and you're like dude you you work here I don't I just want to get out you know I want to collect whatever it is and get out and go about my day and they just they're just not very helpful it's I don't know why uh, but yeah it's kind of a weird one actually and the, the the strangest ones are like when it's their business and you're just like, well, do you want to make a sell? And they're just like, they just want to be rude. 
and get you out of the shop and you're just like okay oh yeah 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 I know the one I know the type yeah they're like oh yeah we can do this but I don't I don't really want to so then you're in a position of like well I'm here because you do you do X and now you're telling me you don't want to do X I'm kind of like confused yeah some people are I don't know I'd, I'd, say, I'd like to say crazy Actually, I, I can see where I'm, I'm. Where there's a lot of detail here that I'm not putting in because I don't want to. Uh, no, it's because I've got. A, I, I really want to put the 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 white highlights and stuff on, uh, but I'm not done. I'm not quite done just yet with uh, some of these little lines and stuff. probably should be to be honest I probably should be at the point where I'm, I'm adding uh, white sort of like highlights not these little black lines that you can if, if basically as a rule of thumb if you're not seeing it on a stream I shouldn't really be painting it but you know it is it is what it is so I'm just gonna add like a couple of like little details that aren't actually there again and then um because of this bit that's what it is this bit I want black but you can see again the issue isn't the fact that this bit's dark the issue is the fact that this bit here isn't light enough um, So we'll see if we can uh, rectify that sort of situation shortly, um, and it's the same with this. So I don't know. I'm kind of like, you know, and we're gonna do a little, a little thing again where I want to bring out some of these colours. just the right sort of way so let's see if I can do this if I can actually do this this time lift some of this shim oh, there we go just to sort of like I just kind of wanted to bring out that little armor plate really
that and that. It's amazing because I don't really feel like I've done anything. And we're already an hour in and my back's aching. And I'm like looking at it going, right, where did I want to go with this? Um, so, yeah. Um, and I know that some of these little highlights are like a greenish, uh, you know, uh, greenish white sort of colour. So I kind of want to get a white plate, to be honest with you. I'll be right back. I was kind of hoping for a, a bit of a quick, a bit of a quicker stream today, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so like, like a nice big dollop of uh, white acrylic for this. I'm just using a normal uh, system free acrylic. It's fine. Um, I know some people are a bit, you know, uh, they might prefer like Winter Newton's goods and stuff like that. But I find like, unless it's like really really bad quality. Um, the whites and, and and blacks that the company the, that these companies have are actually, you know, not that dissimilar from e from each other. Um, I do like Windsor Newton, um, but I've had this pot. God, I've I've had this pot since at least two thousand and nine. Um, at least, so you can imagine I don't actually use a lot of it. Which is weird because I use it on every single, every single painting, I guess. Um, well, most. I know some people prefer to use uh, gouache, gouache when they're um, when they're doing this, when they're when they're using watercolor and stuff. But you know, it's it just it's just dependent on your personal preference. I find I like acrylic. Um, because I, I've got there's some there's some sort of like nice little effects that I get out of it. Um, so we're making this sort of grey colour here right now. <coughs> Whoop! Sorry, guys. Yeah, we're making this sort of like grey colour here right now, and watering it down. I'm gonna make it quite quite bright. Um, because that is going to go on quite a few, quite a bit of this. I, I want it sort of like very liquidy. Um, and then I'm going to try this out, give it a bit of a, a, bit of a shake. And uh, we'll just start applying on on this side first. Um, so we've got like a little bit of a zigzag here. Uh, and you can actually see that for a change, which I was finding on uh, some of the uh, uh, other using some of the other cameras. It was just it's just not happening. Um, and a lot of this again. I'm just um I'm sort of like applying in places that probably don't don't really have it. Uh but there are a lot a lot of uh of these sort of, of like white detail lines and stuff um that I'm hoping this will sort of like uh show out. You can see if I if I if I use this on the edge it helps bring it it helps bring it out a little bit more even though that's not actually uh, you know on the, on the on the model itself it's not actually there um but this should dry out a bit more transparent as well um it gives me a bit of opportunity to uh 
to, to, to put some more in uh, uh, another point um, so there's various sort of like parts oh, no I shouldn't really put that there that's not really a, a grey highlight area this bit's a bit brownish um, but I'm going to try and ignore that for for now. And uh, again, I'm going. I need to pull. You need to push the paint when you're when you're painting into the area that you want the the most paint to to go. Uh, which is something I uh. I often forget. We're just sort of uh, bringing out some of the uh, some of the highlights now. Does uh, anyone in the stream uh, paint? Anyone watching the stream paint themselves or do anything creative? Some of these uh, are I can actually see now that I'm putting the highlights on. I can see um, a lot of these are actually. Uh, you wish you did. You can. You can always. You can always take it up. There's nothing stopping you. So this is where I said about this this area being a bit brighter. Just gonna add some acrylic just to sort of try and, and sort of lift it at the same time as uh bringing it through. I know that there's like a lot of little white lines and um Uh, little green sort of areas here. Um, so back to back to the back to white lines. Can you actually see? The, yeah, you can see these. That's good. Um, this is one of the, probably one of the reasons I was I wasn't streaming. Uh, as much as well as because of the the camera was so bad. That, uh, wasn't really picking up any 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 sort of like detail and stuff. And I was like, well, if people can't see the detail or some of the detail that I'm that I'm putting in, what is the point? Um, y you know, even though like as a, as a watercolor artist, we're probably not putting in. Uh, all the detail anyway that that we could be um, still still not 
the point, is it? It's actually got a, a bit of a zigzag look on it, but uh, we just uh, completely ignored it. I just went straight for the. Uh As you can see this bit's gonna be really sort of like uh, complicated um, because uh, well like I was saying I don't really need to to put in all of the detail just the detail that I want you to see you know and of course my brain saying well I want you to see this bit you can see my hand has been a bit unsteady there because it is it is quite a small uh, quite a small area to, to to be doing sort of detail in This is where we get the uh, the notion that sometimes the, the illusion of detail is better than actual detail. So uh, a lot of these lines shouldn't really correspond directly, as in a, a, a world, a real world sort of or like life-like uh, match. Um, we just want to have some of those details in there. <coughs> Again I've done a little bit of water because it's looking like it's getting a bit it's drying out a bit and getting a bit thicker and I don't really want it to be I want it to, to sort of don't want it to dry up just yet. Um, some of this is 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 I'm basically using it to uh, frame other parts of the painting as well, and I've still got like a long way to go in regards to um, what we're actually going to look like when it's finished. Uh, but so far, that's that's helped bring out. Uh, some of the details that I wanted to um, <coughs> and then we're looking for those sort of like th those sort of like same greyish details when we apply them here uh. Rock ball. Oh, nice to meet you, Rock ball.
uh, oh well I can't do that right now but uh, maybe I'll give you a, a, a chat later um, but it's a bit difficult to sort of type and uh, you know Andy, whatever your your real name is. So I'm going to just add a bit more water and a bit more light uh, white because I really want to change this sort of tone on this one now. Um, and it's got I want it to be a bit lighter. Than uh, some of the, the, the some of the details I've got, I'm going to do now. Is that is that a thing? People people just hop into the Discord chat and say, "Oh, oh sorry," into the Twitch chat and say, "Yeah, message me, man." I mean, I suppose so. Yeah, it's all social media, isn't it? I'm not used to none of this, none of this stuff, really. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go, rather than actually look at the, the painting right now, is I'm going to just uh, add a bunch of these little sort of uh, white sort of edges. I'm, really, I'm going to keep looking up uh, and uh, change uh, a little bit depending on where I put these things. Uh, and uh, some of these are just going to go where there are supposed to be lines and some of them are just going to go wherever they will dry um, like transparently anyway so it's a good uh, it's a good sign that they you know they're not going to look like that when I finished um, I've got a very unsteady hand today And I'm going to sort of like use it to bring out or accentuate sort of areas that I don't know. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to use the the my hands and steadiness to uh, create sort of random. Oh, no. Create random sort of areas of of non-detail. I guess I don't know what you I don't know what you call it. The, the you know the illusion that we keep talking about um so oh, that is way too watery Some of that is going to actually stay there, uh, and it wasn't as watery as uh, as I wanted it. But you know, it is what it is. And um, that's quite okay.
so again just just going over some of those little minor minor details that before you couldn't even see on the stream and then uh, from here let's have a look oh, I'm going to do it that side and then uh, maybe make a bit of a darker grey to go that side um, and again we're going to start adding some um, some little sort of greyish lines and stuff to this to try and uh, to try and bring out some of these uh, some of these uh, hidden DLs. Although this this uh, this part here is very much. Um, very much um, sort of like more to do with the uh, the orange lights and stuff like that but I do want to sort of include some of these these little lines and stuff you know um, so especially like here there's this shape it's actually it's actually here but I kind of want to include it and I'm putting it there because I'm going to put some some more dark there and we, we want some lines here uh, just to represent that sort of like detail there this is looking a bit more rounder than it should do so we kind of want to you know uh, bring it up and there's a little triangle piece there and uh, again just a couple of little a couple of little lines here and there to sort of try and uh, try and make it distinguished from uh, you know try and differentiate it from the rest of the picture <coughs> yeah it was a bit of a a bit of a you know these some of these colors are a bit brighter than I than I planned them to be um, so we want it to go on top but we want it to be darker and, and sort of like more more transparent Uh, we're just mixing colour at the minute, um, and then we're going to apply that uh, to to the to the painting in general. So you know these these bits here, uh, for example, I don't know what they are, like two little, you know, just lines. Uh, pretty much, um, we're going to put lines all over this place, and uh, you know, just break it up a little bit. They're not they're not accurate lines. Um, but the detail on this one is quite is quite shady, and again, I, I, I you know the plan was to actually be really um, loose loose with this, uh, and I kind of still still want that sort of loose uh, feeling, especially in in the dark areas where I don't want you to be able to really see uh, the detail. That's not where where I wanted the, the viewer to sort of like really look you know um, and, uh, should we add, uh, should add like a little bit here oh there's, some, there's a couple of little lines that I've sort of like messed missed out missed uh, here and I'm just sort of like again, it's just about including them without really um, doing much to include them. If that if that makes any sense. Um, some of these lines are. are Um, we've got kind of 
couple of uh, little lines there and there's actually some some uh, some darker ones in there as well um, just around here uh, and it's the same it's the same down here so I'm kind of trying to force again forcing the color to go where I want it um, or trying to uh, and sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it it does uh, and again there's going to be some some red sort of like highlights here and stuff like that uh, a couple of little lines here and there um, that uh, we're not really we haven't really put in uh, like there's there's actually quite a bright bright one there and um these lines are pretty much um just just white they sort of zigzag lines where the where the where the where the um lights picking up reflected on that um, I'm hungry this one as well should be white really um, and this one so looking at bringing the orange in as well uh, at some point I'm gonna pretty much go back to the watercolor now uh, just to sort of uh, darken some of these some of these areas a bit before I start applying I mean, I can go over some of this acrylic as well, uh, and it just gives it a little. It just, you know, it'll just darken it a little bit. Like I kind of want to do that there, um, and just darken it or shade it down a little bit. Um, in quite a few of these places, actually, and this is. Uh, <coughs> so we kind of now I kind of need to let it dry a little bit and, and, and think um, I think I want to put the uh, the sort of like orange sort of highlights on a lot of this stuff and then we'll work on the flames uh, going back so I'm just going to mute you in a minute And then uh, we are sort of uh, back to the acrylic, but I kind of want to, I kind of want to use the orange, um, but not really. 
there's a there's a better colour for it and we're gonna end up going a bit uh peachy I guess. Um there's like a deep yellow. A deep yellow is gonna be more this area uh up here. So the this area here is gonna be more of a, a yellowy colour whereas all of these highlights here are like a peachy um yeah like a peachy orangey so that's what we're gonna go for right now a bit of uh see you later spicy you have a nice night as well yeah yes yeah we all need to to look after our uh our backs So first I'm just going to make the orange up uh, that I like the look of because this one's a bit too uh, red and that's too yellow so and that's about right I think um, so we're just going to thicken it up a little bit. see what we're doing in a minute because um, this is it's going to be this is like really really transparent -y sort of sort of color really to be honest um, so although oh, although I can do the these bits here they won't show uh, which is kind of annoying so um, what we tend to do now is add uh, colours and make a peachy sort of colour with the white because for some reason the white goes on um, so once we've done that we can go, oh that's a bit we should be able to uh, go around and put in, start putting in the, uh, the light sources so that was a bit too pinky. No, that's probably about the that's probably the right colour that I that's the colour I want. Um, so we're gonna wash the brush, make sure we get some of that paint off. <coughs> and uh, I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna move this again. I'm gonna start on this side with uh, just uh, the little dots here. The good thing about this is, is uh, once it dries, I mean this is just just dots at the moment. But once it dries, we can um, we can do some other stuff with it or to it to sort of like change that colour a little bit and just bring it in line with what we want it to be. if we want to change it oh no we can even uh, uh, bring in some of the, 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 the little highlights here that, that we had that I didn't want to uh, put in because we're actually Sort of like I think they call it scuffing. I'm not really sure on the, the actual terminology uh, because I actually. 
actually never I actually never studied uh, art in school they wouldn't let me I was told I wouldn't pass um, so yeah uh, no art qualifications here well I've got like some 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 little ones that I wouldn't really count but you know there's also some 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 sort of some color here as well but that's like a lot a lot redder but I'm just going to put this in here right now you can see like we've got a little uh, square here a uh, little line uh, and there's like this 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 long triangle that we're just going to do like that um, oh. but mostly this is for this is for light sources so we got like a couple of little lines up here and lines up here these are actually a lot redder but like I said, uh, the colours don't really go on to uh, very well when it's just the just the orange and just the just the orange and yellow. So we have to do um, a couple of little things, or uh, you know, just to sort of like help us help us out with that. I know there's a there's another line up here somewhere um, and a little rectangle rhomboid or whatever you want to call it um, oh look there are three lights here uh, does anyone get that reference if anyone's actually watching um, who knew that that episode was going to have so uh, uh, such a bloody Romulans. No, it's not Romulans, is it? It's the Cardis. It's the Cardassians. Didn't they? Weren't they? Didn't they do something with Kanye West? The Kardashians. I mean, it's their their kind of deal in it, you know. Oh no, I'm thinking about someone else. Never mind. So yeah, it's a lot of these are going to be a lot a, a lot redder. Or gonna go redder, but um, right now, so this this area is gonna be pink. This is this is actually surprisingly orange. This bit. back down to oh, back down to this bit oh, I haven't left a lot of room in that gap have I that gap there doesn't matter um, Again, probably not seeing uh, as much detail as, as I'd like you to see. Um, 
but um, We are actually going to use some deep yellow now for this area. And I'm not particularly worried that it's going to be quite transparent um, because uh, I'm hoping it's transparent hey Pete uh, welcome back how's it going you all right I think I think it's just me and you in the channel, to be honest, Pete. There, there is a, a third, but I think there might be uh, AFK or... Hell was one yesterday. You you were entered though, so don't you have one already? I thought you had a, a, a hell. Are you, you are you actually in goons? I mean, it's Karma Fleet uh, class as as goons, really. <coughs> yeah, I should imagine it's uh, you've probably been in there longer than you've been playing. The, well longest that you've been playing the game. Do you still play Eve? I haven't seen you on there for for a, for a long time. So I just assumed you're not really not really playing it. Oh, since November, yeah, I went I've gone through like long 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 patches now. Um, but for different reasons, I think. Uh, how 
How come you don't you don't log in at the moment? Oh, Star Citizen, oh, okay. Yeah, there are a few... Uh, I don't know, man. I, I tried Star Citizen. I have got it, but I just... I just find it a bit... You know... Time-consuming. This is this is true. Hi, by the way, um, Tina. I'm gonna have to start getting used to calling you Carlisle rather than Tina, because I know what I'm like. If I if I ever meet someone in real life, I tend to call them with the get, with the name that I know them the most. So Pete would obviously be Pete, um, and you would you would actually be Tina. So I'm j I'm just uh, applying a uh, uh, lots of lots of sort of uh, yellow to to this at the moment. And you know what we're gonna do uh, because I do like I like this effect when um, get some more white. like this kind of effect but I need first person specialist okay what is a first person specialist do you mean like somebody who plays first person games see what I'm doing in a minute just uh, just bear with me a minute oh I forgot I should be uh, loud noises you see what I'm doing now I'm going to get the old uh, Toothbrush, um, and that's what we're going to go with now. Seem to have picked up a delay on the on the stream again. Uh, I don't know why. And uh, kind of like that that sort of that sort of like sprayed uh, effect when it comes to engines and stuff um, I uh, saw I think it was uh, uh, it was actually yeah that was it it was a, actually a youtuber it's not a youtuber someone on Instagram painting cars uh, and they did this spray thing I thought you know what I, li I really like
yeah I kind of like really really liked it so I was like right you know I, I have done it before on uh, non ship related stuff and I thought you know what that worked really really well with uh, the uh, the engines of the um, uh, at the engines and the nozzles and stuff like that so I don't know if you can actually see the, the detail that I'm putting in to uh, this right now but it's just Speckles, yeah, I do. I do like that. I don't know if you can actually see it. Uh, I think I could, I could. Yeah, it looks. It looks better. It looks better close up. Uh, I. I think personally, um, we've got a bit of. Uh, we've got a, a bit of a pink situation. A reddish, pinkish situation here that I haven't uh, haven't really addressed but this one's got more this one's more to do with uh, the light and, and shadow than uh, than than the others um, so uh, that's that's why we're sort of like got a little bit, little bit more um, little bit more colour I guess in, in this one. Um, so again oh a little bit too a little bit too uh, red there. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Uh, this bit um, and I'm just at this point I'm I'm just sort of like really just applying the red. I know that that's gonna dry. Um quite quickly. Um and even this bit I just sort of wanna uh redden redden up um as opposed to these bits that I kinda wanna make a bit more orangey red. Um but I need that to be like a watery a watery colour. What have you guys been doing? You've been watching you've been playing uh uh Star Citizen or um
Oh, you're, 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 you're playing. I, I can't understand it, man. I just, uh, so many people are so good at, um, <laughs> at multitasking, and I can't, I can't watch a stream and play something like Star Citizen at the same time. I mean, I've got, but I bad enough trying to play like uh, two clients in in Eve. It's just. And yet, there's people out there like that, that aren't even using like the multi-boxing software or whatever, and they're using like two or three accounts to PvP with. And I'm just like, how? Yeah, that's not uh that's not something I can I can do myself. Uh I saw an artist earlier on on Twitch saying that um, you know, they, they can do all this uh they can do all stuff this stuff because they've got uh ADHD or whatever. Uh, and um I'm just like what how it's like a superpower for some people uh, it's me struggling to just concentrate on one thing and I can't you know they spend days on the same uh, on the same uh, uh, painting and I struggle to to, to to sort of like remember the paintings there um, you know uh, so I've got a you know watercolors is better for me because it's a lot quicker when I used to spray paint again it's it's just a lot it's a lot quicker you know so you just end up with uh oh, yeah that's just too much man I guess yeah no I can't I just I'm just kind of used to it that, that that sort of stuff, you know. One thing at a time, you know. I'm I'm I think I'm pretty good with uh, task management until I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, which is quite regular. Um, so I guess I'm not really good at task management, um, or as good as I as I purport to be, you know. Um, I'm just going to sign this a little minute, and then I'll, I'll zoom, I'll zoom the camera out, so you guys can see what it what it's actually looking like. Because we're pretty much at that stage now where it's. Uh, it's it's pretty much done for for me. Um, I would just turn this uh, this image off. So yeah, that's what we're. That's what we're looking like. Hang on a minute. This has gone a bit, a bit funny. If I do, if I do it like this, and then enlarge it. Okay, there we go. This is what we're looking like. This is the uh, this is gonna this is like literally the final product. Um, 
I guess you, you can't really see the signature, but that's not important. Um, So yeah, uh, what do you think guys? I mean, that's, it's, it's a lot bigger than, it's a lot bigger than the other ones, uh, than the ones I've been doing normally on stream, like so for example, the, uh, the Kisrael I did. Is, is like that size, so it's about the size of you know the, the, this Asriel, uh, you know, um, it's like literally half, it's like twice twice the size. So you got two ships on there. Um, No, I, th I always put. See, I have a, I, I have a system where I put things because I, what I was finding is like some stuff uh, shoots out really, really quickly because people, people just want it. So you get like multiple people want the same thing. Um, yeah. And I was having, I was struggling really trying to price my my artwork because what happens is some people like stuff and they want it like right now and they, they you know, they'll pay like uh, anything. And then other people, um, you know, other paintings just don't really. You know, sit and then other people obviously they, they want to wait for stuff to be cheaper and they might like other stuff. So, what I do is I, I this will go up on the store for um, 250. Um, yeah, this will go up on the store for 250, and then um, you know, uh, over time, like it'll go through various stages of sales and stuff like that, and then eventually which I've got a, a, you know eventually I'll put it on uh, on Facebook like a Facebook auction and then probably reduce it again like a permanent reduction in price which I, I do need to do with a couple of the pieces on the store at the moment is is reduce them in price a little bit uh, or auction, try and auction them off and stuff like that I do I do want to try the next again to be honest with you um, if you've got any good screenshots you know you, you know where you can send them anyway um, my, one of my um, one of the things I, pr I struggle with is, is trying to get the the, the good sources. Uh, and I've just noticed something. Uh, yeah, I've just noticed something. I've just put the the two exhausts there, and they're supposed to go here, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's three of them. Um, uh, yeah, there's a couple of missing. There's a couple of details sort of like missing, but we're not we're not worried about that. Well, your cat ate ate a uh, ate one of the uh, the paintings. How does a cat eat uh eat a painting? So you don't have oh well, I guess yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> cats are weird man, honestly. Uh cats are cats are very, very strange, uh, strange creatures. So Oh yeah, I think yeah, I think I remember seeing that now. Yeah. <laughs> so do you guys think I should do uh, I was actually having a dig around actually, uh, give me a second.
from from Homeworld. I've got that from Babylon Five. Uh, I've got a couple of sketches actually. Uh, these are star citizen sketches. Um, So yeah, like I mean, uh, this, these are just sketches, that's it, that's the Carrick isn't it, uh, that one, uh, is it the Carrick, I think, or is, no that's the Carrick isn't it, this is the, uh, this is one of the big, one of the big ships, that's it, the Idris, I couldn't remember it, and then this is, I think this is the ship that I've got, um, I think those are both, those are both the same, the same ships, uh, I can't remember what they are though. Oh, the M the M50. That's what that is. I think I've got those. Um, so you know, you can see quite a bit of quite a bit of detail on that one. Um, not not so much on this one. This one's a bit a, a lot looser. Um, and uh, which which one, Pete? This this one, yeah. Is that the one you 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 like? Um, yeah. So obviously that's Babylon Five uh, and Homeworld, and I've still got this one. I, you know, I've been sitting around. I actually tried giving this one away, uh, and no one wanted it, which was kind of weird. Uh, and that's you know that's a couple of years ago now. Um, and I mean it's got like a lot of. It's got like a lot of a lot of sort of like little little details in it I don't know if you can see like the, the little bits of grass sort of just poking out uh, which sort of like help that sort of like really put pull the pull the painting in uh, you know uh, li the little bits of texture on the on the on the, wi on the whatever that is the wing I guess do you know what I mean um, and this was I did this one quite a, quite a while ago uh, and now I've got a lot more um not more experiences so there's probably a few things that I, would, I would I would change uh like the way I did it but I do still like the way that you know I still still think this one came out really really well um <laughs> yeah yeah well equipment's not equipment's not cheap so I will put the what I was going to do is I was going to put those to the side for you guys um uh maybe I'll send them do you, do you guys stream Pete do you, do you stream at all or Tina. Well, I can't sell it, but here's the, here's the funny thing is that about about copyright law. Um, I can't sell it because I painted it, and I don't have the IP to it. Um, but if I gave it to my brother. For example, as a gift, um, yeah. If I if I gifted it to my brother and he wanted to get rid of it or sell it, there's nothing stopping him from doing it because he's just selling uh, an item. So it's it's kind of like it's it's really bizarre. And um, that was one th one thing I, I you know I, I discussed uh, before I got the IP license with. Uh, with CCP for for a long time, it's it just really really confused me. Like um, so a lot of people, you know, like the the Babylon Five painting, uh, a lot of people would have just would have just put it onto Etsy and sold it. And Etsy just don't care about, they just don't seem to care about licensing or uh, copyright laws or anything like that. So I I sort of boycott Etsy. Etsy, to be honest, I know that it is a good place that some people sell on and stuff like that and I knew I do know that they've got a, they've got at least one licensed Steve online um, seller on there um, but the vast majority of art on there is unlicensed and I, I remember I, I was reading I can't remember which artist it was but I was watching a uh, an artist uh, and he was a Marvel artist talking about um, selling his paintings and how difficult it was because he's like you know he's he's like the guy that does art 
for Marvel. He, he you know, he does comic books. He does like the, the covers and stuff like that. They, they do like, you know, and he does the, the paintings and stuff. And he's, you know, an amazing artist type thing. You know, I know they've got quite a few artists and stuff. Um, so he's one of their artists, and he, he has problems because so many people paint Marvel stuff without a license. He has problems getting a decent price for his, for his artwork because people just buy it from someone else you know um so unless you've got like a really really big name within within marvel as an artist or whatever like that it can be quite difficult to sell to sell your art for for a decent price and 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 again all of the unlicensed artists tend to uh you know uh, bring that price down as well you know so i I don't really want to sell unlicensed art in in regard in in that sort of like regard but yeah it's kind of crazy that you can give something to somebody and they can sell it but i can't uh not not legally like that you know if i started selling i could do a hundred um uh a hundred star citizen paintings for example and they could say they could send me a cease and desist and that way I, you know i can't do anything but if i gave that like fan art away to a hundred different people and they all sold it um there's you know there's no uh there's no stopping them and obviously in eve you've got the issue where um yeah it's it's really it can be like quite um quite difficult so i was i was really chuffed and really you know grateful that ccp gave me the license for their for their product for their for their ip um but it's it is just it is just it's like a massive uh, minefield really you know there's a little just a little 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 well have I done you know it's, it's great because I did have so I'm saying I just lost my my palette and it's like literally there I just couldn't see it Yeah, there is that, but you can still. A lot of companies won't. Um, when you talk, when you're looking at Marvel and stuff like that, they don't really overly enforce stuff. But game companies do, like so, Star Citizen, uh, Eve Online. Uh, the people who make these sorts of games uh, would um, would put a, would put a stop on that, you know. Um, Uh, Star Citizen had had someone making art based on their IP, so I'm not really sure what happened. And they do, I don't know if they were ever given a license or whether they just said, "Oh no, we're alright with it," you know. Uh, so it's kind of a, a kind of a weird one, isn't it? That's my. Uh, yeah, it's kind of when you're sat here. This is what I'm saying about um, before when I've said about, um, you know, I like to I like to sort of like sit and sort of like figure out what's going on. Is because now I'm seeing a couple of little details that I've that I've missed out. Just add in some some little uh, extras um, that I feel like I've I've missed out, and sometimes this is what I do. Uh, 
after the stream is uh, after I've finished streaming. Yeah, yeah. There there were uh, a lot of people getting away with um, uh, stuff like that, or I think they still do with the uh, with the three D printing. Um, so they they sell you uh, something and give you another thing for free. I don't know if that's still a thing. If if people still do that, uh, but I know it was uh, it was a thing at, at some point. Um, You know, the funny thing is, is I'm going to get to 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 doing this, and then I'm going to be like, oh, the bit that I saw, that I was trying to fix, that I wanted to add, um, I didn't add, and for the life of me, I can't remember which bit it was. Which is uh, always amusing. Uh, I think it was a bit up here, maybe, um, but I I don't know you know, uh, these things happen. <coughs> Megatrons? Which uh, which megatrons? Yeah, that is uh, all the property of CCP, so I can't uh, uh, put that because they they paid me for uh, the the uh, the rights and everything for that one. So they own, they've got the original, um, and I won't, I can't sort of uh, print or anything with it. Yeah, they, they. I'll be honest with you. They, they really, really did. Uh, um, they, they, they paid me so, so well. Uh, I can't, uh, you know, I can't say uh, how much I appreciate them. Actually, um, just, just the whole thing. CCP have been absolutely uh, mind-numbingly great for you know, like. They all like you know they all like they've all really like had really positive reactions to my artwork, uh, to the paintings and everything, and I'm just like, uh, it's so unexpected. You know, you hear everyone's always going on about like oh you know CCP this CCP that you know they just don't care about their uh, their people and stuff like that, and then um, I just I I just can't I just can't see it because all I've ever seen. Especially at the moment where they've got so many devs that that have actually played the game, and they really do care about the game, they and they do care about their community and stuff like that. So it's just kind of like really, really weird when you hear their um, we hear them talking like it could be, it could be, it could just be in a draw somewhere. Um, I really do hope that it is actually up uh, somewhere in in an office or just you know. I really do hope it's it, 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 it is because otherwise I'm you know uh, I'd prefer it I'd prefer to have like the the thought of it being up somewhere than than not you know um, it's just it's just one of those things isn't it you know Well, well, 
Pete, if you send me a Discord message, we'll work something out. And, uh... Because, like I said, you know, these uh, these starters and uh, pictures are literally just... They're just sat in a, in a box here. I don't really put my artwork up on the wall. Um, because it's mine... Uh, I, I, did, I do occasionally I'll have like one or two up I've got an oracle somewhere that I really liked um, and I did have that up at one point but I've kind of put it away now I did have maybe if I d maybe I'll do a uh, maybe I'll do a star citizen uh, painting on on Twitch at some point and uh, see 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 how that goes. But um yeah, most of the time they just they literally just sat in a drawer. I've got so many uh, uh paintings and and drawings and stuff just sat in drawers and in in boxes and stuff. It's kind of like you know. So I really want to show you guys like this. Give me a second, guys. I'm just gonna gonna see if I can get a better a better a, a better picture for you you know like the the splatter yeah, you can see the splatter there and some of the some of the some of the better details you know um sort of but you can you just can't you just can't see it from there and if i zoom in you you'll lose a lot of that detail you know and it's it's the same here you know the the, the details like really you know sort of close up you, you can see it a, a bit more there the splattering um, that sort of like gives it, it gives it, I think gives it more of an engine feel when you're painting you won't see it on the, on, on Eve because they got a, a much smoother sort of like look and stuff but you see like the reflected light and some of the other some of the other little bits and I mean it's just it realistically when you look at it it is just little dots and, and dots and lines and stuff you know um, but when you zoom out it kind of makes the whole the whole picture you know um, to what it is this is this is the the, the, the mess of the setup by the way um, the keyboard and you know and this is the mess that keeps ending up on my desk and uh, I don't know why it keeps ending up on my desk but it, it just keeps ending up on my desk and um, I, I can never find anything because stuff goes underneath it and yeah it's kind of kind of mad how how it works and at the moment the, the whole like uh, camera setup I've got is kind of it's kind of crazy with the with the little tripod and stuff underneath but yeah, send me a send me a uh, a Discord um a Discord chat, Pete, and uh, we'll see what we can um see what we can sort out. I used to when I when I used to do this I used to get every now and again I get a tear and stuff like that and it used to like really bother me um, but now I'm like you know what and I've seen other artists as well and, and they get it and they just they just don't they just don't care like that it shouldn't it shouldn't really happen and it doesn't always happen but it's just on the edge and it's not uh, something that we really care about because as well some artists actually um, you use like credit cards to scrape paint off um, rather than uh, rather than actually paint it and this masking tape is actually really good for this I mean it's it's, it's actually crappy masking tape but you know yeah and it, you know you can kind of see that it makes it a bit more uh, unique in a lot of ways you know uh, so that's the final piece again like compared to Compared to the, uh, can I can I can 
I do not compare it to that's 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 what you're sort of like looking at. It's like two you can fit twice as much on there as well and, and get more uh, more sort of like detail and stuff you know um yeah well there is that as well you you can do that but also like um <laughs> try and replicate that you know so like see this see this little this little tear here which you can barely see it's just like a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the top layer has come off yeah um, that now is part of that painting um, uh, so if you know the original watercolor has got that sort of like unique sort of like fingerprint uh, how do you replicate that I mean you, can, you people can replicate the painting surely you know there are some really talented people about that can do that sort of stuff but then actually tearing the, the bit of paper in the same right the same sort of way then having the same sort of paper and people that, that you know when they you know they they really look for these sorts of things you know they're just uh it's imp it's impossible to sort of like uh really replicate you know or maybe it is possible i don't know but to do it in in the exact same way uh i would have thought is is would be very very difficult if not impossible so hang on let me just scroll up a minute Yeah, I don't have the Merchant Man. I actually, uh, I, I gave it. Uh, sorry, I'm just scrolling up now. Um, I gave the Merchant Man away um, as part of a was it a Twitter competition or something like that. Um, uh, I I I do I do want to do some more. I want to do some more. I like I really like the Babylon Five sort of ships as well and stuff like that. Um, but I got to the point where. Uh, I, I really wanted to improve and now that I've got like a little studio to work with uh, I've got a little bit more room um, and this, these streams are definitely uh, helping me with with confidence as well because like um, I've done a few now and, and the paintings have come out really really well the Rossinante I tried uh, I've done a few sketches of but I haven't uh, painted um, to be honest it's not a very it's not a very pretty looking ship it, it's more it looks very functional like uh like a lot of the ships in the expanse they look very functional but they don't look pretty you know um yeah so it's, it's kind of a kind of a weird one isn't it you know all right guys um i'm pretty much going to wrap this this stream up now to be honest uh Pete messaged me on Discord and my my lift is actually hurting. Um Yeah, you made it to then. I'm actually finishing a little bit earlier today because um I I didn't actually plan on streaming two days in a row actually. Um but this this ship in the in the top corner is done. I'm kinda happy with the with the way this is at the moment. I've kept uh, you know, there's quite a few loose pieces with the with the darks with the dark side. Uh which which is which I'm quite happy about. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm kind of happy with with the way that that's turned out and stuff like that. I might add more to it, but it's pretty much a case of like it's gonna sit around for a bit, and uh, if I decide to add more, I, I will. But right now, I'm like, mm, I don't think there's anything else I want to add to it. Uh, so I I'm gonna log off close the stream down and go and make some uh, tea and have something to eat because I'm absolutely starving but uh, thanks for joining everyone uh, especially Tino and Pete again and Spicy if he's still here because he joined earlier but I think he's gone um, but yeah thanks for joining and uh, it's been nice chatting to you guys as well so you have a, you have a lovely evening alright you too mate uh, see you later